Storage has become really important these days as we take a lot of photos and videos and we want to store them on a place that is really safe. So therefore, we have the WD MyCloud Expert Series here in our office, which we are going to use it for a while to store our important photos and videos that we work with every day. But first of all, we're going to get this device unboxed right now. Okay, so what we have here is the EX2100 NAS storage from WD. And since it belongs to the MyCloud family, it is connected to the cloud and you need to use WD's MyCloud software to be able to access the files inside. All right, so this is a two-bay NAS, which means we have six terabyte each on each bay, which is actually quite huge for most purposes already. All right, so let's take a look at the features of the Expert Series NAS and see what's inside. Okay, so we have a pre-configured NAS inside, which means it is already pre-configured in RAID 0. You don't need to configure anything, therefore it's very user-friendly. So we have an Ethernet cable, a power supply and cable, and quick install guide. So it supports um, all platforms, of course, PC, iOS, Mac, whatever you name it. All right, let's just open the box and check out the contents if it is real. All right, let's just take this box out. And there we go. Here's the first box that we're going to see what's inside. It's probably cables and stuff. So we are going to just open this box. And there we go. There's the user, user manual of the MyCloud EX2100. And here's the gigabit Ethernet cable. Um, pretty short one, but definitely sufficient to attach it to your router. Okay, so we have a couple of cables here, a couple of power cords. Uh, for different countries, very good WD. And let's check out what's this. This is um, obviously the power adapter that is used to connect to the NAS for power. All right, let's put that aside. And we're gonna take this big thing out of the box. All right, guys, here is the WDEX2100 2-bay NAS. And this particular model here has two six terabyte hard drives, which is also hot swappable. Just in case WD releases an eight terabyte hard drive, you could actually update manually just like this. As you can see, this is a beautiful NAS hard drive here with the red label from WD. So we're gonna insert it back just like this. Make sure the pins are on this side and we're gonna just slot it in, in this way. So I'm gonna insert this in, close the first bay and let's close the second one just like this. Pretty simple. Right, so let's talk a little bit about the hardware itself. So on the front here, we have a power button that turns on and off the device. Here is a USB 3.0 port that allows you to connect a hard drive onto it to expand your storage and to connect to the cloud. Let's turn over to the back itself. Sorry, this table is a little bit glossy. And there we go. We have dual gigabit LAN ports here to ease off the network load should you have a lot of users accessing the NAS at the same time, which is a really good feature. So we also have a USB 3.0 port here, a secondary one to allow you to expand your storage as well. And here's a Kensington lock port and a reset button should the hard drive becomes unresponsive. So deep down inside the NAS storage, it comes with a dual core Marvel 1 gigahertz processor with one gigabyte of RAM, which is actually pretty much sufficient for most um, heavy network environments. Next, I'm gonna hook up the EX2100 into our network on our ASUS AC87 router and see how it performs through LAN connection and wireless connection. All right, so I've got my Mac ready to set up the EX2100. So what we're gonna do, we are gonna open a web browser and we are gonna key in HTTP WD MyCloud EX2100.local and press enter. And here you go. This is the setup wizard of the EX2100 NAS. Let me just zoom in a little bit and we are going to start set up the device right now. I'm going to zoom in a little so you can see properly on camera. So here we go. We have languages. We have a couple of languages right here. So this is a really good product. We're going to agree to the end user license agreement and we're going to type our password here. I'm going to just keep it simple. I mean, I'm going to tell you what is it right here. So after that, I'm going to press next. All right. Apparently I have some issues with the password here. Let's try it again. And we're going to press next. Let's see what is the issue. All right, so the password cannot include any special characters. So apparently I just use an alias character that is not accepted on the password. That's a little bit disappointing because some people actually like to use um, special characters for their password. All right, so let's just 
keep it simple. We are going to just um, type in just alpha numeric um, keys and that's all. All right, so we have cloud access already. So we're going to type in the first name, I'm going to type my name, Warren Lee, and I'm going to type my email address. There you go. I'm going to save and it's updating the device and we should see what happens in a moment. All right, so we are done. We're going to press next to continue the setup wizard and getting started. Um, I'm not going to update the system firmware automatically. I'm not going to register the my cloud and neither am I going to participate in the product improvement program. So let's finish and we should be reaching the main interface of the WD EX2100. So as you can see, the web interface looks a little similar to the original my cloud device that is actually much more uh, affordable but this is an enterprise level NAS that you should actually uh, consider getting if you are running it for your business. So what we have here is the usual um, suspects. We have the usual features right here but I'm going to just focus on um, this few things. So let's go into backups. So we have USB remote internal cloud backups and camera backups and that is a lot of backup features on the NAS storage. We're going to try that out in our full review period and we'll report later on how the feature works. And let's head on to the storage option right here. So in here we are able to configure the rate profile of the EX2100. We're able to check the disk status, the smart data, which is very comprehensive. We can even set up ISCS, iTargets, volume virtualization, and we even have apps. We can even assign the NAS to automatically download from HTTP URLs, FTP, P2P, and if there's even a web file viewer for you to set up if you want to do so. All right, so let's finally let's get into settings and take a look. So general, this is where you configure um, your device name and here's network options for you to configure IP address and so on and any other remote access to your NAS storage. So we have media, we have media server, we have utilities to perform diagnostics, um, restore the entire system and even format the hard drive. And here's an interesting thing. We have ISO share list on the on the NAS, which means we could actually create an ISO image or ISO share to share with, with network users. And that's pretty much about the configuration of the MyCloud EX2100. Very nice interface, WD. I actually like it a lot. And we're going to perform a test on the NAS storage itself. We're going to do a speed test right now. All right, I fired up the DSpeed speed test app on my Mac and I'm connected to the five gigahertz network in my environment. So as you can see, the speeds are actually pretty decent, um, probably not for a network environment, even in AC. Uh, we are getting about an average write speed of 32 megabytes per second and read speed of 65 megabytes per second. So for such kind of read write speeds, you could actually just get files copied over um, fast enough already on a NAS storage. And considering that this is on RAID 1, which is on mirror mode, this is actually a pretty reasonable performance on the NAS itself. And finally, I'm on my Mac Pro connected to the NAS over a gigabit ethernet connection. So what I'm seeing here is a pretty good sequential write speeds on RAID 1, and it looks pretty good. And I'm actually a little bit surprised that the read speed is actually lower than the write speed, which should be in contrary the opposite way off. So I'm not sure what is happening right here, but we might have to we might have to test the speeds in different drive configurations to see what is the maximum performance that the WDEX2100 could achieve, which we will be back in our final review. There you go guys, this has been a quick unboxing and a quick walkthrough of the WD MyCloud EX2100 setup. We hope this video has helped you in choosing the correct NAS for your home or office. And we'll be back with a full review of course, uh, because we have a couple of things to test on the NAS storage, including uh, a couple of network tests with other rate modes. And we also need to try out other features like the download feature and some other some of the features on the NAS storage to see if they really work well in our daily lives. So stay tuned to KL Gadget Guy. Give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw and leave comments down below if you have any questions that you want to ask on the EX2100 and we'll try to answer you during our review period. Dislike the video if you think we are not doing good enough and of course do leave us a comment down below 
uh, on telling us how we should improve in our next video. And we shall see you soon in our next video. Follow us on social media. We are on Instagram, Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter at KL Gadget Guy. My name is Warren, and I'll see you again in our next video. Cheers.